when I entered my high school classroom for the first time and I took a look at all those people that were new to me, I knew that it was the end of being happy. This was two years ago. And I knew that because most of my life I felt lonely. I couldn't define it back then, but I struggled hard with making friends. So for the past two years, I've been learning this topic and to be minuscule, a lot has changed. And here's some proof. Each one of those photos is a representation of my happiest moments in life. There is my best friend, my sister. All those people are either close to me or are my friends. And funny to notice, none of those memories have been without people. Because those humans and those moments are what makes me smile when I wake up and smile when I fall asleep. And that's some true happiness. This is what you're about to get. To genuinely make friends on this day, there are three things you need to do. First, go to a place of value. Second, make it your place. Three, leave the place with chemistry. I use this over and over again to make new friends every single week. So what do we need to make friends? We just need people who potentially are similar to us. That's all we need. But how do we find them? And here I introduce you to the first step. Go to a place of value. I call this a place of value because the easiest way to define if someone is similar to you is by their core values. Core values are the things that you cannot live without. So if you can find people who cannot live without the same things, so let's say for me a core value is growth. I cannot go through a day without just trying to become better at something. For me a core value is authenticity. For me a core value is adventure. I love exploring, I love meeting new people, I love getting new experiences. It may be different for you. And that's why there are three ways for you to find your core values so that you can define your place of similar people. And all of them are in the description. You can either write yourself, what can I live without? And I recommend this one because this way you all will actually learn about yourself. Second way is to do a lot of tests. I will link a couple of them below. And the third one is to go through the stereotypical list of values that I as well have put in the link in the description. And once you find your values, once you pick your values, a couple of them, best would be three to 10. Then you have two ways. You can either ask yourself the question, where do those types of people spend time? Where do people with those values spend time? That's the first way. Or the second, just ask ChatGPT. I will have the message below as well in a document and you will just input all your core values, three to 10 of them, and then the rest of the message will do its thing. And ChatGPT will list you 10 different locations where people with those values should spend time, at least in theory. And you pick one of those and that's your place of value. That's your place of similar people, of potentially similar people. Then the second step to genuinely make friends today is to make it your place. I'm referring here to the practice of meeting fucking everyone there. Small talk your way to friendship. Three months ago, I entered a bar which my sister recommended to me and I loved the vibe. I met six people at the first night and then more the next week and more and more and more. And now when I enter that bar, I usually greet at least 15 people because so many people know me there. Obviously, I found a friend there as well. So this is exactly the tactic I've been speaking about here. And if it feels uncomfortable with meeting 10, 15, 20 new people, you may want to consider watching my video on overcoming social anxiety. It will be linked in the description. And maybe you just have a really low stadium, but it is completely attainable to talk with comfort to whoever you want, even as an introvert, and I'm a living proof of that. Once you're comfortable with meeting 10, 20, 30 people, we go to step three. Because when you meet so many people in a place where they share value with you, I promise you on my little finger that you will find the 
person with which it just clicks there, with which just the vibe feels right. They talk in a certain way, they move their body in a certain way, they have similar interests, they have similar values. It will just click. The chemistry will be in the air, the conversation will feel right. You will know it intuitively. What do we do then? Because you know that you cannot befriend anyone in a public place where it is distracting, loud, and there are other people around. That's not how you connect with people. You need to pull them out of there. You need to leave this place with chemistry, with that person you feel chemistry with. So you pull them out. With flow, you can ask, hey, do you want to light up a cigarette with me if you smoke? Or you can, if you enter a sports club, you can say, hey, are you going to this competition? Maybe we should go together. And if you go drive somewhere, you will be alone. You can talk, you can enter deeper topics because naturally, if you are alone in a private place, in a private setting where no one else is around and it's quiet, you will get onto more personal topics. You will leave small talk intuitively. And then if you can just be curious about meeting that person, as you should because <laughs> probably they will become your friend. And if you can ask open-ended questions and speak your mind, completely everything that's on your mind. If you are not authentic, you will never make friends. If you can do those three things, you're good to go. You go find a place of value by picking the values below. You ask ChatGPT, where do those types of people spend time? Or you try to figure it out yourself with your own creative mind. <laughs> Then you go to that place and you talk to everyone there. And if it feels uncomfortable, you may need to overcome just a little bit of social anxiety. So that's why the link is below as well. And the fourth step, just pull them out. It's not hard to figure out how to pull them out of a scenario. So use your creative mind, at least on this one step. Now you know everything that you need to make friends today. Now you see that it is not fucking complicated. You go to a place where similar people like you spend time. You meet people there and with a person that the vibe feels right, you just pull them out and speak in private. Take them to a dinner, to a coffee shop, to smoke a cigarette. I don't care. You do you. But if you do this, get ready to have a fuck ton of friends. And if you need help with implementing this entire process, go click the first link in the description and there I will help you one-on-one -on -one with making friends. Bye.